Hello everyone. Uh, I am Dr. Abha Kumari, Assistant Professor, Nirmala College. Today our topic of discussion is from Chapter Analytic Function and we are going to solve some problem from Analytic Function. In this questions we will see how can we find the analytic function if the one of the function either u or b is given or if the function of both u and v is given and also how can we show that the given function is harmonic so let us see our first question so first question is so that the function u equal to x q minus 3 x y square is harmonic first we have to prove that this function is harmonic and then after find the corresponding analytic function so to find the harmonic function you have to prove the harmonic function what we do earlier i have given some notes in that notes i have told how can we find or how can we prove the harmonic functions to function to be harmonic we should so that del 2 u by del x2 del 2 u by del x2 if you have a function of u then both the double derivative partially of x and then y and then addition must be equals to 0 that is del 2 u by del x2 plus del 2 u by del y2 equals to 0. If you will prove this then we say that the function is harmonic and if we have here the v then what we have to show then we have to show that del 2 u by del 2 v by del x2 plus del 2 v by del y2 equals to 0 then we say that the function v is harmonic okay fine so whatever the function is given you have to show according to that so our question is find the harmonic function first it's so that the harmonic function so let us start so given function is u equal to x cube minus 3xy square, I have put it equation number 1. Now, therefore, partially differentiating 1 with respect to x, what we get here as del u by del x. Okay, partial differentiation. And this will give us, while differentiating this function, we have 3x square minus. Here it is 3y square. So we are having the function 3x square minus 3y square. Again differentiating with respect to x. So while again differentiating this function with respect to x. What we get? Del 2 u by del x2 equal to here we get the 6x. And since it is a function of y. So this will become 0. So here we are living with only the functions del u del 2 u by del x2 equal to 6x. Next again we have to find a double derivative partially with respect to what? Y. Okay. So, with respect to y, what we have to do is, so while differentiating with respect to y, we have del 2 u by del y equal to minus 6xy and again del 2 u by del y2 equal to minus of 6x. So, we have here del 2 u by del x2 equal to 6x and then del 2 u by del y2 equal to minus of 6x. So, hence del 2 while adding these two functions, what we get here is del 2 u by del x2 plus del 2 u by del y2 equal to 6x minus 6x equals to 0. Since this will become 0, therefore, it means that u is what? Harmonic function. Okay. Now next. Next what we have to find? We have to find the analytic function. Okay. So to find the analytic function, we write del u by del x equal to 3x square minus y square from here we get this function we have added here and this will put 5 1 x y we let this function as 5 1 x y again del u by del y equal to minus 6 x y and we let this function as 5 2 x y okay and put this equation as equation number 2 and thereafter equation number 3 so putting x equal to z and y equals to 0 in equation number 2 and 3 what we get we get 5 1 z 0 equals to 3 z square and 5 2 z 0 equal to 0 so to find the analytic function here we use f dash z equal to del u by del x plus i del v by del x this function and this is equals to what this is by the minley thompson method we have del u by del x 
minus i del u by del y. Why del u by del y? Because vx equals to minus of u y from cosy Raman equation. Therefore, we will write this function like this. Okay. And now, f dash z equals to 5 and z 0 minus i pi to z 0. Now, by Millet-Thompson method, we have discussed it in the previous lecture. So, by Millet-Thompson method, we can write f dash z equals to 5 and z 0 minus i pi to z 0. Now, integrating this one, we have here is f f z. While integrating this function, we get f z. Now, equal to integration of 5 and z 0 dz minus i phi 2 z 0 dz and plus an integration constant c. Now, we will put the value from here. So, what the 5 and z 0 is? 3 z square. So, we will write 3 z square dz minus phi 2 z 0 is 0. So, we write 0 then plus c. While integrating this function, we have 3 z q divided by 3. 3 and 3 getting cancelled. We are remaining with the value fz equal to zq plus c. So, here the zq plus c will give the required analytic function when we have u equals to 3xq minus 3xy square.